What's going on everyone? This is Tate Man Gaming, and I have good news and bad news for you. The good news is there's a duplication glitch, the bad news is there's a duplication glitch. Not sure who found this glitch, but if someone knows, I'll put their uh, link in the description below. I won't be held responsible if you get banned for doing this, so I suggest you do it offline, and just keep that in mind, just in case the worst happens. The only thing you need to do is clear out your storage bin of both characters, both the main character and the secondary character. The secondary character needs to at least make it to the cleric beast so you can actually get access to your storage bin. Once the storage bin has been completely cleared out, even removing all the pebbles that you have in there, put one pebble back in there. Okay, from this point, only thing you need to do, log back into your main account. Place the stackable item that you want to dupe in the uh, in your storage bin, and then place a pebble or as many pebbles as you can into the inventory, and those pebbles will convert into whatever item you put in there, stackable item. You can't do this with weapons, so don't even try that. Once you're out of pebbles, you can go back and buy more. Just buy all of them, as many as you can and the rest will be turned into whatever item you have in your storage bin that you're trying to dupe. You definitely want to watch the video to the end because there's one item that I was able to dupe that gives you 10,000 souls each time if you sell it. There might be more expensive items out there but I haven't found any yet. So definitely stay till the end. But the question is how will this affect the Bloodborne community and the Bloodborne game? Thank God we don't have Blood Echo memory in this game which is similar to uh, soul memory in the previous games so we won't have to deal with uh, the Havel monsters or the max level characters even though you're not max level everything is level based so it won't really affect it that much only thing is you're gonna have people that might be new to the series that'll use this cheat to go through the game extremely quickly and then they probably will be bored with it before they even get a chance to PvP or really become a part of the community. That's what I really don't want to see happen. The more people we have in the community, the better. Uh, it only just makes the games better. I mean, from a financial standpoint, the more money FromSoft makes, then the more uh, resources they have available to make the game better. This will definitely help the uh, other uploaders that want to cosplay or make several characters and it actually help the the people like myself and you know I think I might make some cosplays later but it will help us to test different builds to let you guys know what is more effective in PvP, PvE and things like that so there can be some good had from it but I'd rather this just never happen and just do it the hard way you know that way you earn everything but I won't be using this on my main character my main account um, I'll definitely be just jumping off a cliff and getting rid of those souls as soon as possible but to uh, upgrade some other accounts or uh, characters before um, it gets fixed get them to 100 and get everything and then test a bunch of moves sets and things like that for you guys I'll definitely do that so hopefully this helped if you guys have any questions leave them in the comment section I know there might be a few things that uh, will be confusing for you and I'll definitely be able to answer that. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. This channel is more than just your regular YouTube channel. We're all a pretty close-knit family community, so definitely go ahead and join and I'll see you on the other side.